welcome to Anchored in Milwaukee, the official FC Milwaukee Torrent podcast. This is the first episode, the inaugural voyage, if you will, and we are excited to have you here with us. We will be coming at you regularly with all things FC Milwaukee Torrent soccer. From the pitch at Hart Park straight to you, we'll have the latest news, but more importantly, bring you the stories behind the team. My name is Luke Neitzel. I'm going to be your guide as we navigate the waters of everything Torrent. We have a jam-packed show today. We're going to be talking all about the new branding for FC Milwaukee Torrent, which included a new crest, a new jersey, and an updated team name. But first, we wanted to give a sincere thank you to all of you listening. As this episode is released, it's just a couple days into 2021, and as we all know, 2020 was rough, and that's probably putting it mildly. We hope that all of you out there are safe, healthy, and optimistic about the new year. We're excited for the days when we can get together on pitches and bars and restaurants, and in the stands at Hart Park. The rebrand is one of the biggest news stories to come out of Torrent Land, but before we get to that, we wanted to give you some updates on some things player-wise going on with the team. Player signings were announced for both the men and women's team. First on the women's side, it was announced that two Torrent regulars would be returning to the team. Forward Jordan Raleigh will once again be putting on the blue. The forward has been with the team since the inaugural season in 2018 and also played college soccer with the University of Northern Iowa Panthers. Also returning to the women's team will be Captain Kelly Swenson. Swenson has also been there since the inaugural season and has been a staple of the Torrent and Milwaukee soccer for many years. Joining both Raleigh and Swenson on the Milwaukee Torrent women's team is newcomer Elsie Twombly. Twombly is from the Appleton area where she recently finished high school in Kimberly. The 5'10 forward is also committed to Marquette University where she'll suit up for the Golden Eagles. Not to be outdone, the men's team also added three signings. And like their counterparts, there is some returning players and a couple new faces joining the club. Leonardo Leo Arial was announced for the 2001 roster. The Argentine midfielder suffered an unfortunate injury in his first season with the club in 2019, but is back healthy and looking to be a focal point of the attack in 2021. Ariel has a new teammate in midfielder Ian Cerro. Cerro is a Colorado native that played for Switchbacks FC before playing professionally in Argentina. Keeping that Colorado theme, the last new signing for the FC Milwaukee Torrent is a midfielder Alex Fillion. Fillion has played in Germany and the United States and was a product of the Colorado Rapids Youth Academy. We look forward to seeing all these new players on the pitch for FC Milwaukee Torrent in 2021. The FC Milwaukee Torrent also announced that the men's team would be joining the Midwest region of the MPSL for 2021, more specifically the Great Lakes Conference. This brings us to the biggest news of the offseason. On November 14th, through a virtual presentation with fans, the Torrent unveiled a new crest, two new jerseys, and a tweak to the team's name. The name is now officially FC Milwaukee Torrent. The crest features what is described as a German shape to reflect Milwaukee's German heritage and has a central anchor logo with the T and M intertwined. The letters FC for football club are on the sides of the top of the anchor, and 2015 is below the anchor to signify the founding year of the club. Three uniforms were unveiled for the new season, two of them being brand new. The home kit will remain the very popular Skyline jersey, but with the updated crest. A black away jersey featuring the historic Milwaukee Pure Point light and the crest in an alternate black coloring was also unveiled. The third jersey is called the Cream City jersey and pictures the Milwaukee shoreline along Lake Michigan. All jerseys are produced by Hummel and can be purchased along with other merchandise featuring the new design at www.milwaukeetorrent.com. While you're there, you can also pick up season tickets for the 2021 season. Season tickets include all games for both the men and women's teams. To discuss more about these big changes, I'd like to welcome our first ever guest here on Anchored in Milwaukee. And it's a a very fitting gentleman to bring on as our first guest, because I think a lot of people might describe him as, you know, the heart and soul of FC Milwaukee Torrent. And that is, of course, the founder and owner of the team, Andy Davi. Andy, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. It's awesome. Thanks Thanks for doing this. This is pretty cool. So I'm excited to be the first guest. Well, and we're excited to have you. And of course, the rebrand is the big news going on right now. You launched it back in November. And I think it's fair to say that it's had a pretty positive reaction throughout the states. I mean, Hummel announced that they sold out of jerseys, the first run of jerseys in 24 hours. And even the vice governor was tweeting about it. So how have you felt about the reaction to the rebrand? Yeah, it was uh, obviously very... uh... Um, I was anxious how how this will go. Um, 
And but I think at the end, really, I said at our phone call at the Zoom meeting when we announced that it was six months of work. It was actually seven months of work that we put in. And um, what what for me was still still amazing that that somebody who do, who isn't even from Milwaukee, um, how great of a job they did with 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 doing all that that work, getting all the inputs, uh, doing all those videos. Um, I was really really amazed by this. And again, the outcome of it was um, I hope for that outcome because there's nothing there's nothing negative to say about it. When did you start to think it might be time for a change? Um, you will laugh about it, but already after one year. Huh. Um, because as I, as I mentioned, uh, when, when I started the logo or the, t the torrent, this needed to go really, really fast because again, the, the NPSL approached me um, and I didn't, I had a good network at this time, but obviously not that network that I have right now. And, um, and a friend helped out with that logo, but it was just something that wasn't created specifically for the tournament, what we stand for. Um, and it was a great logo. It was our first logo. We will still going to use that logo. It wasn't just, like I said before, not enough Milwaukee like, and, and it, it, it was just, yeah, I don't know. It, it was a ladder in a circle, and it was good. Um, but I, I, at the end, it still took me really those five years to say, I think now is the right time. And maybe, and maybe, unfortunately, Corona made me made it clearer for me that now is the right time because there was nothing else going on. Not that we were not busy with a torrent, because you're always busy. But I think it was also then something that people could look forward to and you know and when you say that th this anchored together after the time we go through now where people really hopefully realize what is really important in in life um that that you have your family that you have um a family and soccer that you can go um i think i i think that was really the time when 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 i started with thinking about canceling the season that i was right away came in my mind maybe now is the time right away for the rebranding um, that we can put our effort in there because people think, maybe people think this is an easy thing to do, a, a rebrand. Um, there is more behind it than just, okay, here's a new logo. There's uh, new merchandise design. How do people react on it? Um, I mean, obviously we had great, great help obviously from Germany and, and from England about this. Um, However, it, this is this is never really an easy easy thing to do, and with the success that we have uh, with it, with the merchandise sales, with uh, again, I mean, you can buy our jerseys. Um, I don't know if they if they have them yet, but there's a soccer store in England that bought sixty jerseys, uh, and not everybody accomplishes that, right? With a rebranding, and uh, it was. The reactions was that we got was to finish your question was what we really hope for. Perfect. So you you decide you know a few months back seven seven eight months back that this is the route you're going to go you're going to go with the change. What's the what's the next step? Walk us through the process of getting this thing designed and agreed upon. So we obviously when, when I talked with with the, the marketing director from Bayer Leverkusen, um, he said obviously you need to do something. Um, we had, for example, somebody send us, send us, we always get logos. People always send us logos, but somebody sent a logo with, um, uh, what is the state bird of the state of Wisconsin? The Robin. The Robin, right? The Robin. You can't do that and be named the torrent. So we didn't want to get rid of the torrent because I think also with the fire ship, the torrent has a strong name. It, it's, it is a strong name, right? Um, so it was... The first thing really was, where do we, so that you get, that you really can focus on one direction, and that was the, the water direction. What do we have around Milwaukee, Wisconsin, that, that we have with the water? And then they found out that the lighthouse, that has nothing to do with the logo, but just an example, 
that the lighthouse gets more online downloads as a picture than the cover trapi. Because when you think Lake Mission, Lake Mission, you think probably first, more people say first the cover trapi before they say the lighthouse. However, the lighthouse is history again, right? You have it in, in the government seal, in the first government seal the lighthouse is in. Um, then talking about, about how we got to the anchor, um, we were thinking a building, putting a logo around a building is always dangerous. What if something happens to that building? Yeah. Right? Um, and they are not, if you look for, take the Seattle Sounders. They have the, the, um, the needle. It's called the needle, right? Sky needle. The sky needle. They have the sky needle. Um, if you think about it, there are not many, it doesn't matter what sport it is, there are not many crests or logos with a building in it. Huh? Um, so, but we knew we need to have this lighthouse somehow involved just because it stands for Milwaukee, right? Um, if people, when, 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 if you take early over Lake Michigan ships came in, the, the lighthouse was important. And then, um, then somebody said that, I don't even know who it was. I think it was Robert itself. He said, at one of the meetings, he said, we need to find something where we really see that, that the logo and, and uh, the people in Milwaukee are anchored together. Boom. And there it was. And then there's obviously that big anchor down in the marina. Um, the anchor stands obviously for so many things. Um, and by looking about how many, if you think about it, how many clubs have an anchor in the logo, I don't know any. Yeah. Right. And that was that was the, the, the other important thing that the marketing director from Bay Leverkusen said, said, you need to find a logo that when people look at it, they don't think of anything else. And look, when you look at our first logo, I, for example, I always thought of the Minnesota Twins. Oh, sure. Because because of the T. Right. And when I look now at the torrent logo, I don't think of anything else on the Milwaukee torrent because. I didn't see anything like this before. And then the nice thing with, you know, the way, the way um, Robert played with the logo, that the bottom is the M, the top is the T. Um, but, but really, to, to, come, to come to this, the, we, it took, let's say, the framework of the logo, I believe, was July. So from April to July was that framework. Um, we had then he came up with the, with the anchor pretty quickly the shape of it but then what font do we use then there was we wanted to go really German and then and then there was for example when, when we wrote the letters in the 2015 um, the five in old German the five looks like looks like the, the the S that that was used in in the Second World War, you know. Oh sure. Just, just yeah, you know, just because it, it's it's old German, you can't do that, right? I mean, obviously. Um, so um, then then we need to find a new font. Then then I said um, when when they really were already in the in the process with the font, I said, you know what? We need to put now the FC in. We are a football club right now. Then thinking. Is there a difference between using FC or using SC for soccer club? And I said, no, we are a football club. Um, then this came in. Then we said, okay, where do we put this? Do we use capital letters? Do, do we use um, normal letters? And I think also that we don't use capital letters with the new font that we use. That's called Bayan. Um, that was that was all pretty nice and, and really cool. And... Um, yeah, so it it was really really a process to um, to to figure out many ideas, many Zoom meetings, many board meetings, um, and then again, um, if if we had, um, are we going to have a logo that is a little bit more modern? Um, and we got also a few that that were about this, but then again, we looked at it. There was, for example, one logo where I thought right away of Manchester City. Um, 
that's why we made that decision. Use a classic logo that basically even lets, I would say like the 80s generation, 80s, 90s generation, you can say, oh, this is cool, this is classic, but where even the younger kids, the newer generation, the millennials, where they can say, oh, this is traditionally, this is history of Milwaukee, I can identify myself. If you if you compare those two logos, the first logo, like I said, the first logo has nothing to do with Milwaukee at all, right? And for me, it was, it, it, because for us, it is obviously, we need, we want that we win people who identify with the Milwaukee Torrent. Um, obviously, not an organization where the owner is a millionaire, so who, you know, there are some clubs, they don't care how many people they have because, but we care about our fans and and identification is obviously a big thing. And um, and I think about this, there is now, with, with the name Torrent, with the fire ship, with the anchor, um, I mean, there is a lot of history that is now inside the Milwaukee Torrent. Um, but a process like that, it was... <laughs> Yeah, some some of my friends when I talk to you, friends say, "What what takes you so long?" I said, "Well, this is it has to be has to be perfect, right?" But so those are basically those those next steps where you decide the crest. Um, the cre what crest did we do? Are we doing a round crest? Are we doing like the, that German shape? Those are all things that you have to look for. Mark, how can you market this? You know, um, those are all those little things that maybe nobody sees. It is a very long process if you really do this the right way. So how many mock-ups do you think you went through before you settled on a final version? I was, I would say it was close to 60, 70. Wow. Yeah. And, and the blue has remained pretty consistent throughout both logos. It, it, it's tweaked a little. Was there ever consideration of going with a completely different color scheme or was the blue something you were going to continue with no matter what? Well, I think if you, for me, obviously, with being from Germany and Bayer Leverkusen, I, I would say I was thinking, ah, maybe we do something red and black. But again, Milwaukee Torrent, water, it has to be blue. And then again, seeing, talking about identification, using the same colors that are in the Milwaukee flag, um, what was really not that much different from what we had before. I think that that was the right thing to do. So it, it never was really in my mind using different colors just because of the identification part. Um, I was just thinking, oh, maybe we do a jersey set that is red and black or something. But then obviously everybody saw that ship was sailed quickly. Um, so now we have we have obviously a red goalkeeper jersey. But yeah, no, it, it was pretty clearly that it has to stay that way. But that's again like with a, you can change the color if, if your name has to do with water and with the anchor. So really everything is about the water with, with the Milwaukee Torrent with the name and with the logo so then then it was clear that the that the color has to stay and that was never really even discussed with the, on the board side or anything so and uh, you've mentioned multiple times how a den of, or creating a, a brand that spoke specifically to milwaukee was important to you and it's clear that that translated to the two new jersey designs you unveiled can you tell us a little bit about that process? Because you have some different color schemes in there that are new to the Torrent as well, and they are very distinct jerseys as well. Yeah. So it was clear to keep the skyline, um, but I always I wanted I wanted to have something something different. I wanted to have something cool, something that that nobody has. Where I think um, that fans don't even care so much about the color of the jersey just because it, it, it's it's the jersey that that normally every year you switch to the home or the away jersey and uh when we created those jerseys that was clear that the away jersey will have the lighthouse i wanted that 100 percent, but i didn't want to go with another blue jersey and when uh when robin picked the the black he said let's do a black jersey because black jerseys are just cool we had the women's team they played last year in some black jerseys we had the camp black well they were dark gray light light black jerseys black jerseys are just look sharp the color and and people like it and when you see the details that that robin was able to put on the jersey with all the wa water with uh, with where the, the the bubbles and it's just an amazing job that obviously then Hummel brought really to 
to life with with the jerseys. And again, there's a Hummel. Again, I, I um, when when Hummel did this, Jeff Dubek, the president of Hummel USA, he said, "Any that's the best jersey Hummel ever made." Um, that was cool, and um, the map jersey was really my idea. That is something that I really that I'm also proud of because I have um, in my in my apartment for years now um, an an art uh, or street map of Leverkusen in an art. So it's it is it's black. You see all the the map is basically in white, but it's a piece of art. Um, I also have one in small of Milwaukee here. And I just took a picture of it, and I said to him, I said, can you put this on a jersey? And he said, oh, man, this is awesome. We're going to make everything happen that this is on a jersey. And it worked out well. And then I did not know that the Red Stars did something, because there was one gentleman, of course, you know how haters are. <laughs> well, this is not new. But, I mean, that this is this is not a street map. That They have the, the I think it's the map of, of the L. Of the, of the it's train. it's the map of neighborhoods, so it is it is not the shoreline. Yeah, so um, complete and again completely different. But I, I I don't care. I really didn't see it. But this is how we came up with that with that with the idea for for the jerseys and um, the colors for the goalkeeper jerseys was just you know how it is with goalkeeper jerseys. It has to be a different color. Uh, but I also I really like that with the street map that that green color that is that is just nice and you know. One one thing I asked him if he can do it, please in green, just because um, there's a lot of green in Wisconsin, and what you need to have stuff green, you need water. So, right, yeah. Again, with the whole combination with jerseys, we could we couldn't be any happier. I mean, and also now that the jerseys are made in the U.S., um, we have really turnaround times eight till ten days that we have the jerseys. Um, what is what is great helps also the economy here a little bit. Um, I mean, if we order jerseys like we do right now, because we're selling like crazy, we help the economy a lot. <laughs> so some, some that we're pretty proud of. So you have some announced players, and I'm sure you have some other players that you're talking with. What, have, what feedback have you gotten from players who are going to be putting these jerseys on? Well, I didn't. I did. Obviously, the players, they, uh, they loved it. The, the, I think the biggest, the biggest compliment about the jerseys was actually from Cacho. And Cacho said, He's just jealous that he cannot run run around with those jerseys and bring crosses and then play. But um, the the jerseys, obviously, in these days where everybody is, how should I say this, on the soccer field, also about fashion and looking good. You know, when I played, we didn't care. We just put a jersey on and played. Um, but now it's a little bit also about how you look on the field. Um, everybody was pretty happy and also the players. It's, I mean, it's a cool jersey. All three are cool. So um, now even that the skyline is, is one year old, but it's still a cool jersey. And if you can walk around or play in a jersey that, that really um, stands for the city you play in, for the club you play in, that's also something that is really nice. And from a fashion point, nice colors, nice cuts. So they're all happy. So you've also spoke about the name change, and you talked about the difference between FC and SC and why it was important to you. Uh, I think one question some some people may ask is is why make the change at all because it's it's a small change, but it's obviously one that was important to you. Yes, um, if for once it's because there are still many people out who do not know what the Milwaukee Torrent is. Okay. Um, second of all, I wanted I always wanted that it's that it's called a football club, but we were not a club before. I mean, a club is not one team, you know. Um, and I mean, there were, when, when a few years, I remember a few years ago, there was a thing on Twitter where somebody from Detroit actually said, why you don't call yourself FC? Maybe then you have more people coming. And one of those fans said from Detroit, and it's always, it's always amazed me how many people from Detroit discuss the torrent. <laughs> um, well, he is right. They're not a club. They're only there. It's only one team. And where I, and as you know, I sometimes I don't bite my tongue where I just answer back, well, you have only one team and you call yourself Detroit City FC. Um, but to come to come back to, to that point is where I didn't feel we were a club because with one team, you're not a club. And 
with the with the addition then um with the addition then with the women's team it was still okay let's see how this goes with the women one year second year but now with really getting the super y in having all this stuff with the boys and girls club we are a club and this is why i said okay when we do rebranding we call us now fc uh because we are a football club and that's that's why I didn't do it from the beginning because I di- it didn't feel that we are a club yet. You you also add the new motto, the anchored together, and you spoke a little bit about what it means to you. What do you want anchored together to mean to the fans and to the players that put on those new jerseys? Well, it's like it's it's obviously <clears throat> you know the the tour is a little bit different than, than than other clubs just because of of the ownership model and and everything and. The, the way we wanted to go and um you know you get you get even inside inside of the city a lot of heat because there, there are many people who are jealous of what what we approached um it's just really that that we stick together that we go our way that we are strong i mean we're now an entity that is five years old right if you if you start a company you say hey if you're still there after five years you made it right and um that even that there is an, an anchor um, there was somebody said, well, with the, the symbol of an anchor is also that you settle down. Um, well, we're not settled down. We're going, we're going to put from year to year, we're going to put more into the torrent. Uh, we're going to get bigger. It will be bigger. I mean, now I can say with super Y, we have now over 130 kids and we didn't even have, we didn't even publish tryouts yet. Um, again, we still, we still plan everything to do with, a, with a third, third division. Um, it's I want I want that the torrent is really a family. I want that there is a, to build up a club culture, and and I think having an anchor as a symbol for that stands for all of this. Um, um, and um, yeah, the, the an anchor obviously also stands for faith. So that that is also an, an important thing that there are so many people who believe in what we do, and you know when you start a bottle off. The tour will be only there a year, and then people say, "Oh no, the second year they're going to fold, the third year they're going to fold," and then we are still here, b- bigger than ever, you know, and and with all the plans, and um, you know, city of Milwaukee, state of Wisconsin is a little bit more like we talked about this before, Luke, several times and discussed this. They are league over club, um, but there are people who who understand what it's it's not. It's not that easy to just to just uh, join join a league, and, and um, we're probably going to discuss it as, as a different podcast. People don't even know how much how much um, not even money, but um, how much work and things need to get together to get into the third division. Right? There's there is there there are some people that oh the torrent this takes too long. Oh, it, it doesn't take too long. I mean, and now usually with 2020, that throws most of us one or two years back. And people are not patient. I mean, it's 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 not how it, how, how this works. And um, to get to get back to to your question, we just want that with with the logo that people see we are all together. We in this together. We have the faith in this, and um, we're not making a stupid mistakes just to just to fulfill the needs of 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 some some people in the city who still think this doesn't go fast enough. Right, because um, if you do this too fast, then uh, then you're not there anymore. There are several clubs folded already through this, um, and with a much much higher budget and with with millionaires in their club, um, that's not going to happen with the torrent. So, and uh, if people are not patient, and they they start I just right now started another movement in the city of Milwaukee um, to bring to bring a league to 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 Milwaukee. <laughs> The hurdles in the city will be for everybody the same. Yeah, yeah. And unless, again, there is a millionaire that comes in who doesn't care about about the city itself, who just just cares about his bank account and his wallet. And if people, there will be people who like to support this, and that's okay, um, because, like like I said, club over league. We go our way. We have now so many people on board. Who um, who support me so much and have obviously also that that business background and they came in for a reason and they showed me that we're anchored together 
in in this and it, it's 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 a big symbol for us that that we stick together through corona that we're still there um that we are still community orientated that you know when i, I don't know sometimes people say we are not present enough in the community i mean we work every day with the boys and girls club uh, i mean i don't know how much more present you can be in the community with having only six seven guys um doing doing the stuff and and the milwaukee torrent and its board we made we made the choice that we that we support the kids um and we do many things that we don't even publish because some things you just don't publish i mean i mean we we just gave out for christmas 200 soccer balls we didn't publish that online because some things you just don't you know it, it's, it was a good thing to do um people always why don't you do a food drive and this and this we do so many good things for the community but we don't share all the time those things because we know what we do our fans know what we do the people who get stuff from us they know what we do and this is also part of the symbol this anchored together so we are still even with even with corona we are still out daily in the communities um maybe not not uh, physically over over it's more over zoom but we still support our mission that we have and um that's also part of the symbol Perfect. Perfect. Well, you know, lastly, I just wanted to give you a chance if there are any unsung heroes in the the creation process of this that you just want to give a, a shout out to that helped you along the way. Well, of course, most of it, it's, it's Robin from Custom Custom Club. Uh, he did an un, un, unbelievable job about this. Uh, and even that he's in England, whenever I called him and he, he went right away on Zoom, said this. Um, I, I would like to, to ask to say thanks to to Florian Dederich from from Bayer Leverkusen who gave us some advice about about the stuff. He's a marketing director, and then of course our board. I mean, um, Manny Solman, Jen Scherer, Bonnie Peplinski, and Chris Norton um, with really getting behind this, understanding this, what it is. I mean, again, it was something that didn't come from me. Um, that where we always where we got a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, and yeah, obviously it was it was an easy decision with one with, with some other things doing an old school logo or a more modern logo. But um, and with you when you have like five different characters on the board, it's five different people. But we were always at the same page. Everybody appreciated the opinion of the others. But again, there was nothing where we really struggled with or were really at a different opinion. So um, yeah, those guys did all an amazing job, but mostly obviously Rob in England. That was just tremendous. Well, congratulations, because so far the rebrand's been a great success, and everyone is looking forward to seeing it on the field in 2021. Now is the point in the show where we are going to take your questions, and if you would like to submit a question in the future for another edition of Anchored in Milwaukee, you can reach out to us via Twitter, at MKE Torrent, or via the Facebook page for the Milwaukee Torrent. So we have two questions today, and our first question for owner Andy Dobby was submitted by Justin Hetland, and it says, uh, the Torrents have had a successful relationship with Bayer Leverkusen in Germany. Do you think one day you can convince them to come to Milwaukee for a game? <laughs> that would be that would be great. Um, obviously, I'm in conversations every, once a month, every two months with them. Um, but obviously, I cannot say too much about this. Of course, I went to them and said, hey, what do you think if... Um, they don't know. They didn't visit the U.S. now for I think the last time they were in Florida four or five years ago. That was when Chicharito still plays here. Um, obviously, I can tell you this without without saying uh, without uh, blowing a secret. They just published last week that Bayer Leverkusen will invest more in the U.S. market. Um, I don't. Maybe some of you can now read between the lines. Um, what what that maybe means um but so they they will for sure for sure look for more options how to brand better in the u.s um will we be a part of this we will see wait and see and our second question is from bryce langley and bryce asks 
What is your most important goal for the Torrent in 2021? Um, applying for third division. I mean, that would be off the field. Applying uh, for third division um, on the field will be, I, I don't know which, if he means on and off the field, I just make it a double header now, a double question. Um, so off the field, again, uh, applying for the third division status on the field, I think with the money we invest, um, we need to win championships. We need to win games. Um, also for the sponsors, we get we get sponsors who support us tremendously um, financially and and on the side, team behind the team. Um, it, it's it's never never really really easy, but um, um, we need to win championships. And and this year for sure, the the biggest goal for for myself and for Cacho is that we that we start to winning the division and the region. So, yeah. I like those goals. Andy Davi, owner and founder of FC Milwaukee Torrent, thank you for joining us today on our first ever episode of Anchored in Milwaukee, the official podcast of FC Milwaukee Torrent. Before we go, do you have any final message you want to share with fans? Well, just the appreciation, again, of sticking with us through those hard times. Um, we were really sorry that we that we couldn't play it. I still believe, and I know it was the right decision. Um, I just hope it could bring you some joy with the stuff we did in between with the rebranding. Um, as you all know, we're very active on social media. Um, so thanks for sticking with us. And we're looking forward in 2021. As you see, um, the the players will be announced now. And um, yeah, they're, they're good things to come. Season ticket sale is great. Thank, thanks to everybody out there for, for getting the season ticket. Thanks for all the merchandise uh, purchases that we had. Uh, that is great. And, uh, and yeah, so um, on, on another note for me now is still um, per personally, again, if, if you guys order food and stuff, sober men's good food, good drinks, they help, they help, or they still supported the torrent when, when, when some bars didn't, um, make it i make it pretty pretty clear here um so they still stuck with us and said you know we do a good thing with all the stuff that we do for the kids because um we also still did our stuff and had our cost and um if you ever look for good good food and good drinks sober man's the place to go With that, we have come to the conclusion of the first episode. So we want to thank you for listening. We greatly appreciate it. If you want to help the podcast, you could leave a rating, write a review, or most importantly, tell a friend. The purchase of your 2021 season tickets or the latest gear with the new FC Milwaukee Torrent logo is available. So please visit www.milwaukeetorrent.com. If you'd like to submit a question, again, just hit us up on Twitter at MKE Torrent or the FC Milwaukee Torrent Facebook page. I've been your host, Luke Neitzel. This episode was produced and edited by Jaden Stevenson, and we'll be back for episode two in two weeks. So until then, stay anchored together. <laughs>